Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a side series I'm starting on my channel that will include recommendations for a wide range of things like books in different genres, fiction, non-fiction, manga, manhwa, manhwa, anime, dongwa, Korean and Asian dramas, K-pop content, and whatever else I add onto the list as time goes by. They will just be short mini clips that give a summary of what I'm recommending, my review of it, and why I think you should try it. To start off the series, my very first recommendation is a Danme novel. Danme in Chinese, Pinyin, literal translation is Indulgent in Beauty, and it is a Chinese genre of literature that features romantic relationships between male characters. And this is typically created and targeted towards a heterosexual female audience. Another day that is not today, I will dive into how I lost my innocence as a child and found Yaoi. I probably had no business doing that, but that's to today's recommendation. The name of the novel is Golden Terrace, and you'll see it sometimes translated as Golden Stage or Golden Platform, Chinese name Wang Jin Tai by author Sangwu Bin Bai. So there are two books in the series. I read the both of them earlier this month due to its much shorter length in comparison to some longer and more popular stories that the genre is known for. So the story in this series is set in the Zhou Empire and is about a war general named Fu Shen who gets injured pretty badly and has to return to the empire. On returning, he learns that the emperor has conferred a marriage for him with another man, which was not completely unusual at the time. Male male marriages were allowed for people of high status and nobility, and both books do go into a little bit of how that came to be. The problem, however, with this marriage is that Fu Shen's spouse to be is his political nemesis, the imperial investigator of the Fei Long Guard, Yan Xiao Han. And the two get married in spite of the political differences between them and gradually start to accept each other's presence as a married couple. But just as they start to adjust to their new reality, it is revealed that there is a mystery behind the attack that injured Fu Shen. So the main plot of the story is heavily focused on their romantic relationship, but the mystery behind the attack that injured Fu Shen and the dangers associated with both of them trying to unveil it serve as the subplot of the story that kind of props it up and supports the development of the main plot. So if you're interested in Dame at all as a genre, these are great books to read for their short length. The series only has these two books and they're both already published in English so you don't have to play the waiting game to complete the story. It's also a really good one to read if you're curious about the genre and you're just starting to get into it again because of the short length. Some of the things I liked about the book and why I recommend it are the way the romance was handled. It was clearly a romance novel, but it was very well balanced with the political subplot. And even with the differences between our main characters, there was still a lot of mutual respect for each other, which was a constant theme throughout the entire series. They were both very stubborn and ruthless characters, which was understandable given the nature of their professions, but you get to see them give in to each other when necessary and show a willingness to self-reflect and that really strengthened um, their relationship. Also, there is no angst in this book, so if that's what you're looking for, this is not it. Our main characters are very mature, imperfect, but mature, and that was amazing to read. I think a lot of um, romance I've been reading these days tend to focus on moving the plot forward based on misunderstandings and angst between the main leads, and I've kind of just gotten tired of that and I didn't want to read anything that had an inkling of that. So this felt like a breath of fresh air. I rated the book or the series 4.5 stars on my latest bookish update video. And the only reason I didn't give it a perfect buy was because I think I'll have to do a reread of it to really understand the political subplot. There was quite a bit of world building in both books and that means that they had like lots of characters, factions, locations, but the glossary in both books, if you can even call it that, does not give a lot of details on any of those things. And I guess the reason this stands out to me is because all the other physical Dame novels I've read so far and that I own were all published by Seven Seas Entertainment and they have a very, very rich glossary of all of those things. And that makes it easy for a reader to refer back to them if they get lost in the story as one does while reading books like this. So it's one thing if these characters just have the one name that they're consistently referred to as, but in Chinese names, they're just like a whole different beast. Even for someone like me that used to read fantasy, like my life depending on it. So when I do a reread of these books, I plan to make notes of 
all the characters and locations and create my own glossary so I don't um, lose my understanding of the story as a result. If you plan to read it, that's definitely something to keep in mind. And if you're still not convinced that this is a great read, I've put together a couple of slides of beautiful fan art for the story that really sell the indulging in beauty translation of the genre in hopes that they change your mind. See you in my next recommendation and whatever day you find yourself watching this, make it a great one. Bye! Okay, so for comparison's sake, I'm going to pick out a volume of Golden Terrace and Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, a dime that was published by Seven Seas Entertainment to compare their glossaries. Here is book two of Golden Terrace. And I'm just going to flip it to the back to show you the glossary. You can see it's just that one page. Glossary. Just a one page. And in book one, I think you do have a glossary of like the main characters. Oh, I still have a bookmark in there. That's the glossary from the first book. Talks about um, the name of the book, the Chinese name. And then, yeah, not even the main characters names and that's it in comparison i will open up actually let me put this two back first before all the books in that pile tip over these are the books that i want to read or i my tbr for the month of june okay in comparison i will grab book one of modal tsushi I'm opening it up and I'm just going to start from where they have names of characters. Look at how thick that is. So you have characters all the way to all of these pages are character names. And you even have like pronunciation guides of the character names and different like name guides and stuff like that. You also get to a glossary after the character names. You have terminology like Shansha as a genre, web novels, and then different things like in relation to the Shansha genre in Chinese um, literature. And just a bunch of other things so that was the comparison i was trying to make in the video